Hello guys. So today I want to give a standard, uh, give an interesting proof of how to compute this this type of sum. So from one to infinity. So basically, it's one to the uh, one over one to the fourth, one over two to the fourth, two to the fourth, one to the fourth, to the fourth. Also known as zeta four. So the standard result for uh, previous is zeta two is one over uh, one over square. So basically, it is pi square over six infinity. Okay, so this is the standard result, and uh, we I will uh, I already give you a proof for it. Uh, so today we want to compute the the uh, this uh, this term. Okay, so the the uh, let, so let me tell you the results. Okay, so the result is pi to the fourth over ninety. Uh, so standard proof is you use Tyler expansion of your analysis, uh, but in this uh, but in this uh, video I I will not talk this method. I will give you a, a interesting method uh, to prove this. Okay. So the interesting method is that I can consider f n m uh, to variable function like this one m square n that's one m n square that's two m n cube. Okay, now then we compute these type of these types of result. So we first compute this and m. So this is m plus n minus m plus n. Okay, so you can compute this. Uh, it's somewhat tedious, but the result is two to the m, uh, two over m squared n squared. Uh, basically, if you uh, I use Mathematica to compute this, right? So basically, you see this f equals to this one, and then you do a both multiplication, it tells you this the result. So it's a two over two over n square over n square, right? So this is a standard, uh, the, just the direct computation. Okay, so basically, once you know this direct computation, then we are already done, right? Because I can sum over n from one to infinity and from one to infinity. To this, the to the this to this one. So I write it down. Uh, so the right hand side is trivial, right? The right hand side is two to the m from one to infinity n square, and from one to infinity n square. So so what is this? Right, it is two times. Or the we can we just write it as two to the Two times zeta two squared. So how about uh, the right hand? Uh, how about left hand side? Basically, you can see that. Okay, so suppose I write I write some terms. So we have one one, one two, two one, and one two, and one three, and uh, three one. Right, so you can see that this f one two cancel, and uh, you you have this f two one term, but this f two one term will cancel it because there will be f two one term cancel, and then this f one three term will cancel because there will be another term called as what f one three. So so once you do this, then you will find out the result is that, is that only the diagonal term re uh, survive. So basically, this m n and all these all these integer points. And then you will find that only a diagonal turn survives. So basically, the left hand side just equals n from one and the f and n. So we have this result. Okay, so now the result is what is at least f and n. So, so basically, let me write it again. So we have this. Uh, suppose this f m equals to n, then we have 5 over n to the fourth. Okay, so we have an amazing result that summation n from 1 to infinity, 5 over n to the fourth, well the same as 2 to the zeta squared. Right, so that means 5 n times 1 n to the fourth, where the same as 2 times pi squared over 36. So we have the famous results. 1 over n to the fourth square will be pi fourth. Oh, by the way, this is fourth because this is pi square over, over six square. So, 
Okay. So well, we prove this interesting fact by use just use this uh, very uh, very elementary approach. Right, so there's no calculus in this, and then no further analysis, no tire expansion. So very interesting proof. And next time I will you I will talk about how to extend this result to zeta six. So basically zeta six is one of the answers first. Uh, six power, and then we will use the standard approach to get zeta two n. So basically the Riemann zeta function at all the uh, positive even integers. And I will make a re uh, video for it. So if you are very interested in this topic and uh, you're interested in math and physics and other like algorithms, then you can subscribe to this channel and I will keep up in the interesting video to you guys. Thanks.